Hello everyone and welcome to my Otter Mage Designs YouTube channel. My name's Jade and I'm a writer, illustrator, and affiliate streamer on Twitch. I stream chill art co-working streams Monday through Friday between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today I'm going to answer some questions about Twitch affiliate onboarding troubleshooting. Now because I've been an affiliate for a while, the process has changed and things are quite different. However, I'm willing to comb through these Twitch articles uh, to help you guys figure out what's going on. I also have a few earlier videos posted about how to qualify for affiliate status, so if you're looking for information on that, definitely check it out. This question comes from Tanolia Bop, who's having difficulty verifying their identity as a part of the Twitch onboarding process. According to Tanolia's comment, they aren't seeing any instructions about how to complete that step on Twitch. I think I might know what is going on here, so let's go ahead and get started. In Twitch's affiliate onboarding guide, they have a lot of information stashed away but not much help for troubleshooting. A lot of it you kind of have to read between the lines to figure out what you might be dealing with if you hit a roadblock. Before you start the affiliate onboarding process, I think what you want to do is first disable your pop-up and ad blocker. This advice doesn't come until far down in the article and it should totally be at the top. So first things first, let's do that. Okay, next we're gonna go to our channel, and this is my channel, Jade the Otter Mage. Like all walkthroughs, we're gonna start from my channel's page, just so you can see it on Twitch. Click on the profile icon in the upper right, which opens a drop down menu, and then I'm gonna select Content Manager from that menu, and that will take me to a page that should look super familiar to you because this is where you should be managing your stream from whenever you're live. Yours may look a little bit different because this screen is highly customizable. However, on the left, you should have a menu bar for Stream Manager. Now Twitch's guide will tell you to click on Preferences, but that header doesn't exist anymore. So I'm going to head back over to Twitch and click on these headers until I find it under Settings. I'm going to click on the Affiliate Menu item and it will take me to a screen that looks like this. Now yours may look a little bit different depending on where you're at in the onboarding process because again, mine is completed. However, let's click on my Affiliate Onboarding tab here and see what's there. Here, it's telling me that I've completed the onboarding. It gives me the option to start over, but sorry guys, I want to help, but not that much. However, we can see underneath the header that there are three options, payout registration, Twitch affiliate agreement, tax interviews, and payout setup. So these are all grayed out for me, so I can't click on them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to scroll through a little bit because I do want to show you guys a little bit of what is in the affiliate onboarding. And this is going to be where you manage like your bits. You can select ad free viewing. You can ignore slow mode. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do here. And it's gonna be where you spend a lot of time once you are an affiliate. So um, now that we've taken a look at that and realized I can't actually click on anything, let's take a look at that Twitch article again to get a better idea of our next steps. Most of what Twitch wants you to do is fill out forms. And these forms must be in your legal name, have all of your actual information, and if you're a minor, your parents will have to provide a lot of this information and sign these forms. So we have the same headers as what we saw on my Twitch affiliate onboarding page. Payout registration, forms. Twitch affiliate agreement, forms. Tax interviews, two forms. Payout method, you guessed it, providing your payment information on a form. Underneath all of this information and after Twitch's like third box saying that they can't help you and that you'll need to contact a tax professional, there is a very tiny sentence telling you that you, it may be asking you for additional information. If you get this prompt, please submit a scanned copy of your government ID such as a passport. Not to me, to Twitch. Now, it doesn't tell you where to do this, so I'm assuming that there should be some kind of button that appears or maybe even a, a pop-out that tells you what to do. This goes back to the recommendation that I gave earlier. Make sure your ad blocker is off. One thing I've learned about being on the internet is that ad blockers are wonderful things, but they will also block any pop-ups that they think might be harmful. And it's likely that in your case, Tenolia Bob, that it's thinking Twitch is trying to show you an ad even though it's not. So if you haven't tried turning off your ad blocker yet, I would try doing that first and then following the steps in the guide linked below the video. There's also the possibility that you may need to start the affiliate onboarding over to make this pop-up or button appear again, if that's the issue. The reason I say that is because there could be some kind of code on Twitch's end that only makes it show up the first time and then if it fails, it just doesn't work. Yeah, that would be pretty bad code, but it's happened to me on other sites, so I think it could be likely. 
You could also try using Control F5 on the page as well to do a manual page refresh to see if that helps wipe it out. If that doesn't work, you could try clearing out your cookies. It could be that Twitch put a cookie on your computer saying that you completed the step because it might not realize that the pop-up or button was inaccessible or unviewable, and they never actually authenticated you because you couldn't upload the documents. Lastly, if we scroll down through the copious amounts of questions about payout issues, there is one final nugget about tax forms in the FAQ. According to the Still Stuck section at the bottom, the tax form validation could take up to three days and sometimes longer. If it's been more than three days, they want you to wait two to three weeks to see if it naturally resolves itself. And that sucks. That really sucks. And then only after you've waited two to three weeks can Twitch support even attempt to help you. And unfortunately, based on what I saw in just looking around the internet this morning on Reddit and different forums, that seems to be a lot of people's experience. It certainly isn't the norm, but it is to be expected. So I would give it a little bit more time if you have submitted all of these forms and those forms have been approved. And then I would consider contacting Twitch support. If you're going to contact Twitch support, I highly recommend sending them a tweet versus an email. Seems like more people have more success with that. And when you do contact them, only contact them the one time because repeatedly contacting them, even if it has been a few weeks, could potentially put you at the back of the line queue. It does take a lot of time to resolve this. And one of the reasons I think it takes that long based on what I read this morning is because it requires a lot of private and sensitive information. And they don't want just anybody handling that information they only have a few people really authorized to look at that. Now that's just me taking stuff off of the internet and relaying it to you based on what I read, but based on my work experience at different companies, that does seem pretty plausible. Now if those steps that I gave you don't work, like the refreshing, the ad blocker, at, you know, the control F5, um, please contact me to Noli Abop and let me know and I am still happy to work with you before you have to reach out to Twitch support, especially if you're in that three week window. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you to Noli Abop for the question. I greatly appreciate your support. If you found this video helpful, a like and a subscribe are always appreciated. If you have any questions about what you saw or something else, just let me know in the comment section below. It doesn't even have to be Twitch related, it could be about art or self-publishing as well. I'm good in those fields too. If you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon. For as little as $1 per month, you can help me make higher quality tutorials more frequently. Creating tutorials is a huge passion of mine because I love helping other people, and your support on Patreon, Twitch, and here on YouTube help me continue helping others. Thanks again, everybody, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.